of the difficulties for the doctor trying to decide what's wrong with the child is that the symptoms of a brain tumour can mimic the symptoms of many other conditions. About one in 600 children get cancer of all ages. And that's as common as uh, cerebral palsy or diabetes or meningitis before the immunisation programme had been so successful. Paediatric oncology is one of the success stories of medicine in that the outcomes for childhood leukaemia have increased significantly from being very low to almost over 85% now. The prognosis for children's brain tumours has lagged behind that significantly and therefore remains one of the major challenges that we have. Well the centre was set up in 1997 with fundraising because we saw that there was not specific research going on in the whole field of neuro-oncology generally and neuro-oncology in childhood particularly. I think probably the worst news a family can hear is that their child has got a brain tumour and that's for many reasons in that if you have a tumour outside the brain it often doesn't affect the way the child behaves, their personality, their ability to do things whereas all of those can be affected by a brain tumour. We could see that there were problems with slow diagnosis uh, which we're now trying to address with our HeadSmart campaign. We were involved in designing clinical trials of new therapies and we could see that there would need to be new drugs coming off the line that we need to investigate. And also, we also saw there wasn't really a very good organisation of healthcare um, for this particular group of patients. They weren't getting joined up care. And so we wrote a document that suggested how that might be done and the government adopted that and that's been the basis of the network of centres that now exist across the country to deliver care for children with brain tumours. The, the treatment of, of brain tumours and, and uh, is more complex than uh, tumours outside of the brain because of the complex interaction of the brain and the body and the number of professionals required to help families is considerable and therefore relies on significant teams to build, build things together. And the Similarly, research into children's brain tumours also requires a team approach. We can't just look at the biology. We have to look at uh, the, how to improve the imaging, how to uh, improve management, understand why tumours occur in children because we understand cancer is a disease of the developing uh, organ systems and we have to be able to take part in international trials because the number of patients in any one country are rarely sufficient to answer important questions. And CBTRC, Children's Brain Tumor Research Centre, is unique in that it brings all of these elements together in one centre. Well, as paediatricians, we specialise in treating children. That's what we do. And uh, we understand the complexities of, of their illness, but also we have to put against the backdrop of them continuing to grow and develop as is the normal thing for a child, and also do it, uh, look after them in the context of their families, uh, whereas adult care tends to be about individuals, uh, whereas childhood care is very much about how the child and the family is coping with the circumstance. Mm -hmm.